Hey everybody, today's Jane Davenport video is going to be me using her watercolors and I'm going to be painting a hibiscus. So if you want to see how that works and find out how to enter to win some free Jane Davenport items, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is probably the product that I've used the most, even though I haven't used it all that much, of um, her products. So we've got the Neutral Palette and the Brights Palette, and the Brights Palette you is in the giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, you just have to comment on each of my Jane Davenport videos that I'm doing this week, and I think there's going to be around 7 to 10, I'm not sure, um, but I'll put them all down in the link below, or the ones that have been done so far. And you need to comment on each one, like each one, and then um, be subscribed to me. And each comment will give you an entry into the contest, the giveaway. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Watercolor Brights palette from Jane Davenport. And it just has a really nice thumb ring here. And you have lots of areas to work with. And you have room for a travel brush in here. And then it also comes with a pretty little uh, swatch thing that you can do with the names of the colors. So they are comparable to your typical pigments. Buzzy is kind of like a lemon yellow, I would say. Frida, uh, maybe an alizarin crimson or quinacridone magenta. This is like an opera pink. Uh, here we have like a mauve an indigo, um, a dioxazine purple, or imperial purple. Uh, this is like a, this would be like an ultramarine blue. Here's like a light cerulean. And the neutral palette is very much the same thing. It comes with the palette swatch and it just has these ones, and these are more um, like a cadmium yellow, cadmium red, uh, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber kind of colors, but they're called like really cool colors like mango, apple, vitamin C, spice, kiss kiss, cocoa. So she has really cool names for them, and again, it's just so easy to carry, and yeah, I really love these, and these are really they're pigmented really good. They're not, um, they don't feel like they're cheap uh, paints. And they uh, go for about, I think in my Michaels in Canada, they're 39, I believe. And also she has a new one out. I don't have that one. I don't, um, it, my Michaels doesn't carry it. So definitely I want to check that one out sometime. I would love to check that one out. But we are going to start painting here. And I'm just going to do this in kind of a time lapse and time lapse a little bit and talk a little bit and uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't want this to be too long of a video, but we'll have to see. So I will be using for sure the best friend and maybe the ladybug from here. And with this one, I'll be using the mango because it's a little bit warmer yellow than, than the Brights palette and the vitamin C. This is my favorite flower. I kind of, I've always liked it, but especially when we went to Maui for the first time and just saw it everywhere, I was obsessed. So I like painting it from the, kind of the side, like an angle. And I'm going to add in some of that. And, they, and they're just really jagged edges. And right now, I'm not being too controlled. I'm just kind of getting the main shape that I want. And then, um, I want it to be a little bit loose too, just to look like it's kind of fading, softening out. 
So if you let these colors sit for a little bit, and you still get the shape there, but you get a, a nice kind of dripping as well. Which I'm always a fan of. And while that's still wet, I'm just gonna just throw a little bit of pink in there. I kind of like the look of flowers just dripping, like almost like a liquid flower. To me, it just kind of shows the softness and just the like lusciousness of the flower when it's just like dripping down. Um, I'm just gonna emphasize some of these. I just wanna let that dry, but here's my center right there. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll come back to it. So while we're waiting, I'm actually going to do, let's do a hibiscus from a little bit of a different angle here. And we'll just make it more of a red one. And this is kind of what will really tell us the shape of the hibiscus petals. With this one, this pigment, I am actually not sure. Like, I'm not totally sure if it would be considered a cadmium orange. And the cadmiums don't usually stain too badly. Um, not like the phthalos or the, um, what else? Alizarin crimson. 